Actually, if Banjo can stay alive and get his final smash, he might be okay. Ooh! Wait a second! Hang on, what is the punish? What is the punish? The forward smash? Wait a second, here- First thing I'm sure you notice is that there's there's a small delay between my commentary and the game. I'm aware of it. There's nothing I can do reasonably. So we got the level 9 CPU tournament standard rules that I have created. Uh, and our first guess is going to be we got a level 1 Ridley. The first copycat level 9 CPU tourney. Sup, please. <laughs> Add an uwu. Okay. Sup, please, uwu. We ran out of characters. Ooh. <laughs> it didn't change it. Ignore the title. This is wrong. Scratch that out and put in the real thing. Please and thanks. Oh. Alright, chat. You put your beard beatings away. Because I'm not inting today. Today, it is the day of the CPUs. Here they all are. These wonderful boys. We're starting right away with our big boy amiibo. Lord. Level 1. Level 1 amiibo. Uh, first thing, first thing off against Jigglypuff. You didn't change the chat title? I was- I am aware, Chris. It fucked up. I am aware. Alright, starting up. This is not gonna look good for Lorge. Lorge is- this is his first, uh, official game of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. He's never actually played before. Jigglypuff, however, has been competing for years. This game's been out, what, nine months? Ten? She's been competing for years. Nintendo gave her a special copy to play way before. Alright, I want- I want this Jigglypuff to rest at least once this tournament. And I also want Lorge to get one kill. <laughs> he seems to have lost his fingers. He's just bashing on the controller. But he's leveled up twice. <laughs> he's got that menacing walk. <laughs> he's trying his best chat. Oh, he's got the final smash though. Will he be smart enough to use it? Can he land it? He can. Oh my god. Is this a kill? I think that kills. Excuse me? Did Jigglypuff just... Tech Ridley's final smash? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. This Jigglypuff is insane. And the rest, no! <laughs> Why? Jigglypuff, he's just a boy. If this is the. <laughs> She's insane! <laughs> if this is the kind of stuff we can expect, like, this is a level 9 against a level 5 amiibo. If this only gets bigger, this tournament is going to be insane. This is going to be one of the- <laughs> You've tried your best, my friend, but it wasn't really your thing. Yeah, you know, the controller was broken. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, of, of course. Uh, as we all know, Lorge is uh, very good with Johns, but it was your first tournament. I think you did okay. Fuck you, idiot. Fair. Okay, understandable. So next up is Big Boy versus Little Boy. Bowser versus Olimar. Place your bets now, everybody. Because this honestly could go either way. The first real match of the copycat level 9 CPU tournament. Sub, please, uwu. They're feeling each other out, not doing a whole lot. I'm waiting for the big plays, the big moves. Olimar's got that purple Pikmin, but Bowser's just big boy all on his own. Olimar's red Pikmin, the only one immune to Bowser's fire, but none of them immune to Bowser's thick body. Let's see how it goes. On average butter, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the first game. I missed the first stock because I was busy, busy looking at the, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. I don't even know, there it is. There's the final smash. All right. A little bit of extra credit for Bowser, but Olimar has his final smash. Hoping to get some of it back. Bowser getting eaten. Ooh. All right, pretty standard, pretty good final smash. No one's using it to kill. I mean, after watching, oh, oh, that's dead. He was at 50, chat. He was at 50. Olimar's not looking too good, but he's trying his best. If he can stay at low percentages and kill Bowser, he'll still have a chance. He's being smart using his Oh, the spike! Ooh, and he makes it back too. Absolutely incredible. More of that, and Olimar will still have this. They're pretty much even. Bowser's just trying trying all his neutrals. Oh no, but Bowser's got this final smash. If this lands, this could be enough to kill. And that's game. Goodbye, Olimar. Now we have what is essentially this last patch. We have <laughs> Banjo and Kazooie versus Sans Undertale. Yes, chat, before you ask, I bought this costume specifically for this tournament. I did, 100%. So, I've seen a little bit of Sans. I've played a little bit of Banjo-Kazooie. Um, I believe Sans does have the power, but Banjo-Kazooie 
has a little bit of the nonsense going for him. Will Banjo and Kazooie have a bad time? I don't know. It's definitely possible. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know how smart the Me Gunner level 9 CPU is. But I don't know how smart the Banjo is either. I really hate that up air move. It just doesn't do anything. Nicely done. Okay, Banjo Kazooie's genius. Came in for the bait and went for the forward smash. Incredible. Makes it back fine. Ooh, but will he survive? No. And he lost his final smash. If if Sans is smart about this, he can kill at zero. I don't believe that that was the correct choice, but he was very close. If he did a little forward throw, that would have been fine. But damage is pretty good with his Gaster Blaster. Did Banjo just side special twice in a row? But I'm not I'm not really sure. He doesn't want to lose it either, but he misses. Things are not looking good for Banjo and Kazooie. This is the fucking Microsoft trade all over again. Rare just abandoned the poor boy. Banjo, buddy, you gotta edge guard or something. You gotta do something here. You just keep taking damage and Sans just won't die. Banjo's having a bad time, but the fucking forward special. Mwah, beautiful. An excellent choice. Actually, if Banjo can stay alive and get his final smash, he might be okay. Ooh! Wait a second! Hang on, what is the punish? What is the punish? The forward smash? Wait a second, here... <laughs> Banjo pulled out the I'm actually a character card. Sans is just a me constitute. I am a fully fledged character. Wow, that's insane. But next, we got the two hot anime boys, Hero and Joker. Everybody, my vote's on Joker because I prefer Joker, but I've never seen a level 9 hero, so we'll see what kind of nonsense he pulls out. Throw, woohoo, excellent choice. But the big bad man is out now. All the moves are a little bit stronger. Up special doesn't do damage. Oh, but the sleep. If he gets a lucky crit, this could be it. Nope, not quite. Not quite yet. Ooh, he's thinking about it, though. He's moving now. He's just wait. He was waiting for the big bad man. He decided if I can make if I can beat him at his strongest, I can demoralize him. That's what he was thinking. He is Goku after all. He wanted to demoralize him. Now he's all right. He had plenty of MP. The fucking forward aerial was enough to kill. Excellent. Fire the Combinator, he called my hoe Goku. That's who he is, he's Goku, and Goku's dead. But just like that, he comes back! He thought about using a move, but he just didn't. The only move he's used so far- That hit? Wait a second! You just never see that coming! That's not enough to kill just yet, but another hit from pretty much anything! The perfect parry to down smash. Incredible. That's the whole thing of the Phantom Thieves. 22 damage from one side special. Oh my god! That That's it! That's it! Bounced! Off the top, the stage killed him. Our hero, everybody, and the winner. Goku. <laughs> I just want to point out that Joker missed that easier tech when Jigglypuff got the epic tech at the very beginning of the tournament. He was he was he had stage fright. He didn't know. After after seeing something like that, he didn't know if he could compete, so he just he just fucked up. But now we got who might be best girl of the game. Argue in the comments below or in the or in the chat to the right over whether she's best girl or not, but maybe best girl, and Zelda. Ha, get it, Chad, I was talking about- <clears throat> <clears throat> Just roll the- <laughs> So Zelda definitely has the advantage when it comes to final smashes, but I don't know how well the computer is able to use it. For anyone who is unaware, I'm sure most of you do, uh, if you kill- if you get an opponent in Zelda's final smash, and by the end of it, if they're over 100, they are instantly dead. And mostly, from the most part, Zelda's final smash is not avoidable, especially on a little stage like this. Piranha Plant will have to be really smart to try to avoid it, or perhaps not let her get it at all. Honestly, if Zelda gets her final smash before she dies, she wins. She wins the stock. But they're both just so low. I think Zelda wants to- Ooh! From the bottom to the top, now we hear. And she still has enough for maybe her special, unless she just goes to the top of the stage and dies to a ball, you know, one or the other. Chat, who do you think? I, I can see people voting for Plant. I see a lot of people voting for Plant. Just a couple for... for Zelda. So unfortunately, Zelda dies again, losing her final smash again. She is at a huge disadvantage. I can't, I expected her to win because of how strong her final smash is. So she needs to kill this plant now before she takes too much damage and hope like hell she can save her final smash. If she wants a free kill, okay, that's a free kill. But she's at such a huge deficit. 98% against zero. She has to pull out some Banjo level nonsense to get this win. One more big strong move from Piranha Plant and I think that's it. And is that it? That is it. She thought her knight could protect her. And Piranha Plant said, Nah, son. <laughs> All my boys are going out. Stop rooting for them. Now we got 
the last of the competitors that we put in ourselves, we have two people with very funny forward aerials. One that's much funnier, Donkey Kong, not Chunky Kong, and Mario. I saw him go for it. Fucking Donkey Kong making up ding-dongs. Those aren't even supposed to be in this game. He hasn't took a single point of damage. Mario, what are you doing? Looking like the first outing all over again. Oh my god! Chunk DK here to obliterate. We'll see. There it is, the back throw. An easy kill. Nothing too stylish. He's just... Donkey Kong's not here to play favorites. Donkey Kong's here to win the game. Unfortunately, Mario's final smash isn't very strong, but Donkey Kong's is! Oh. But perhaps Mario will be able to kill. At 130, Mario's final smash still cannot kill. By the way, just a heads up in case anyone's counting. Donkey Kong's sitting at the healthy 200%. No more final smash, but he doesn't care. He says, I don't need that cheap gimmick. Donkey Kong plays by fair rules only, but that is enough to finally take him down. Mario at 56%. Not as bad as one would think, considering it took up to 200 for Donkey Kong to die. But if that's what Mario needs to kill Donkey Kong, this is going to be a long game for him. Alright, so Mario's definitely at kill percent just about anything, including a neutral air. That's interesting. I think it's definitely possible. Now it, now it is. Now it's definitely possible. Ooh, just that. Ooh. He's still not using it, though. He still says he doesn't need it. Which is good, because I think that's it. No more final smashes for the rest of the game. Donkey Kong shouldn't be playing that close to the edge. Mario's looking to cheese him out with a funny forward aerial. But Donkey Kong's playing fair. Playing by the rules. Ooh! Interesting spot dodge and the funnier the funnier forward aerial. Won the game. Here are the competitors that we found randomly on the streets. We said, hey, you guys want to play some Smash? And they said, yeah, let's go. Sure. So uh they're just here for the prize money, but uh I asked them to just put on a good show and they said, Yeah, sure, that sounds great. So hopefully uh they do that. Let me know if they all should perish after the tournament. But for right now, Shulk versus Ganondorf. Playing a little dangerously in that kind of area, but I think that's enough to take- No! Shulk able to save himself. I'm admittedly a little surprised. Shulk's got some moves, but he's not using his arts. But he doesn't need them! Able to take out Ganon using a little bit of cheese, a little bit of cheese, but Ganon is the one that wanted to fight on King of the Hill there. So we cannot- we cannot blame Shulk for this. Ganon just needs to hit with something. Something to do- just enough damage to send Shulk flying. Shulk felt bad. Shulk felt bad that Ganon died so early on the rock, so he sacrificed himself. It, and he almost did it again. Okay. My guess is these guys are buds. These guys play all the time, and they're just kind of horsing around. Uh, maybe they both know that neither of them have a chance of winning the tournament, so they're just trying to have fun. They, you know what, chat? I told them, please entertain my audience, and that's what they're doing. So can we get a thank you, Shulk? Thank you, Ganon. Thank you, Shulk. Thank you, Ganon. Uh-oh. Shulk's got his final smash, though. And he's able to hit it. 77% from a Shulk final smash. I don't know if that kills. It definitely seems possible, though. Here it is. Yeah, okay. Plenty. Plenty to kill. Ganon's still refusing to leave this part of the stage. Which is an interesting choice, because it just doesn't seem good for him. I mean, Ganon's not looking that bad. I, I, I'm counting him out, and I really shouldn't. That's a kill right there. That's an easy kill right there. Of a deficit compared to, compared to, uh... Oh, no, that's it. That's it. That was, that was it. He scared him. He scared, he scared Ganon off of the rock. And now we have a repeat. These two are actually the cousins of the original Donkey Kong and Mario. Uh, Purple Kong and Builder Mario guy. <laughs> Build Mar- Bar- Bar- Bario for Builder Mario. <laughs> so let's see if it's a repeat of their cousin's earlier game. So as some of you may know, uh, WarioWare is usually banned because of the very small uh, blast zones, but we say, we here at the Copycat CS say fuck that. That sounds like coward's talk. That makes Donkey Kong the underdog, so I do hope he wins. Wow! Tiny, the tiny little blast zones just working against Mario. Now, does this, does this Donkey Kong take after his cousin and also save his final? No. He just dies. So, we can't, we can't, uh, <laughs> we can't tell. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's BMing. He's not worried at all. He's just fucking held on to him and said, yeah, that's where you're going, bud. No Final Smashes this game. Next time I just won't turn on Final Smashes because barely anyone's using it. His cousin used his like three times and still got wrecked. Yeah, Barrio's trying to say he's better than Mario. And I, I, I respect that, but I don't think it's true. And he's a heavy character, so it's just harder to kill him. Oh my goodness, the techs. Incredible from both competitors and the fucking down special in the air. He also does not care! Oh my god! The Donkey Kongs in this bracket are insane! We now move over to Ryu and 
another Banjo Kazooie. What do we call White Banjo Kazooie? It's Banjo and Kazooie's albino cousins. Yeah, they don't get to get out much because you know the skin, the the sun hurts their skin. But you know, they heard that their cousin was competing, and he just he just really wanted to. He wanted to fucking flex. He says, "I'm a better Banjo than Banjo is." Watch this shit. Watch me juggle this Ryu for a million years. They're like bots and they're super good and they even know how to BM when they're good. Yes. Bots are scary in this game. It's great. That's just, that's just it. That was just, you just scared the crap out of him. I was looking at chat, didn't see what happened, but it didn't seem like a very fun time for Ken. Not Ken, Ryu, sorry. <laughs> He's just fucking flexing on this boy. He's making it seem a lot easier than the other Banjo did. That's dead. Easily. Actually, we might be able to see it. Uh, we might be able to see it. The other the other banjo couldn't land it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my the tech the tech to final smash. What kind of movement is that? This man, this man has been in his basement practicing ever since Banjo came out. This man is insane. It wasn't quite enough. The grenade again? He's just raining terror from above. He jumped into it. Ryu called the jump, but it wasn't enough to kill at 169? What? Nice, by the way. Oh, he has it. He has it. If he can get this, Ryu's scared. Ryu's fucking nervous as hell. Yeah, just spam that side special. Does he even need it, though? That's the question. He's just standing there. Menacingly. There it is. And that's game. Goodbye, Ryu. Boy is dead. Dark Samus versus Yoshi. Chat, should I make the funny joke about how Yoshi doesn't pay his taxes? Would that be- would you guys laugh if I made that joke? Funny fat Yoshi said no taxpayer, haha. <laughs> Chat, what if I- what if I made a big- yeah, what if I made a big Yoshi not paying his taxes joke? Would that be really funny, or? So I haven't been paying attention at all. Uh, Dark Samus has been getting fucked up, actually. Uh, <laughs> that's- that's the- that's the first thing I've noticed. Dark Samus is not ready to give up just yet, though. But, uh, it might be time to. Yoshi has got a lot of cool moves. Everything just connects, my goodness. Goes upwards with the down aerial. Yoshi's just not taking any damage. One percent? Oh no, what will Yoshi do now? He is pretty much already lost. The Nair? Alright, something's gotta kill eventually. He's getting to- Whoa, that tech! That dare to tech. I am surprised that Dark Samus is living. We can't count them out just yet. If they can just avoid being hit, they might have this, but the- Back air will take him out quite easily. How successful Yoshi is this time. There it is! The good roll read. Absolutely incredible. Going Lion King on their ass. Almost killed them. Wow. I thought I thought Dark Samus gave up. I thought they just decided to not play the game anymore. Just kind of feeling each other out. Ooh, the up smash finally kills. Dark Samus has a chance, but the chance is just so slim. With anything big, Yoshi could end this game. Like a nice read. We have Pokemon Trainer versus villager i don't know i don't know either of these characters very well so i don't know what this matchup what, what this matchup is going to be but my guess is if it's like any charizard i've seen online it's going to be a lot of flare blitzes <laughs> that's not enough to kill that is oh nope he hit them he hit them he's just going for the extra damage okay he's not going for the kill he's going for the damage he's ready for the big boy move so ivysaur has a couple more ways to kill but he's losing his advantage he just needs to take out this villager with anything, especially from Charizard. The down air! Absolutely incredible! Interesting, I didn't know that was going to reach, so that might be Charizard's death. Build a house on this hoe! Also, the triple finish, not enough to kill just yet, but that is so much damage. But remember, last time that happened, it took Pokemon Trainer forever. Oh, that was so good, that was so good! The down, there it is, down air. The up air! Not up air, up smash! Uh oh, will Charizard make it back? No! The villager with the disrespect. The one turnip gimp. Pokemon trainer, all he needs to do is let it rip and I think he wins the game. But he has no fear. He doesn't need the final smash, not yet, but nope, here it is. And the victory goes to the Pokemon trainer. Next up, another Mario, I know, I'm sorry. This is their successful cousin, uh, who just came out for a good time, Dr. Mario versus Lucario. That's a lot of Arios, Jesus. He can make it back from that, yeah, he's got so much range. He's got so much of his aura now. His aura aura. Actually, a side special should be enough to kill Dr. Mario, because that's- Ooh! Or beefy back air! Wow! So much like Mario's, Dr. Mario's ultimate sucks, but it was better than Mario's in the fact that it actually killed someone. So that's pretty good in the CPU tournament. Oop! Or oh, actually, that's death, isn't it? That's right, Lucario's final smash is so strong. That's just death. That's just so strong. Actually, is this another kill? I believe if- I believe if he's smart again, yeah, he- 
He can kill. He can kill if he wants to. But I think he's waiting. He might be waiting to try to cheese him out of a stock. I don't know what move Lucario used, but he won. So everyone say congrats, Lucario. <laughs> so next up, ooh, this is something I want to see. Also, yes, we do have another plant, but we have Cloud versus Big Boy King K. Rule. Hell yeah, gamers. I cannot wait. We get King K. Rule and Persona music. Quite frankly, this is the best day I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> oh, Makoto's not in the background, so it was close. It was close to my best day, but Cloud, as all of us know, gutted compared to what he was in Smash 4. But hopefully, he'll have a chance to still be, you know, pretty good. Pretty de- Yikes. You hate to see it. Oh, K. Rule went for the BM- Back air, wow! He doesn't even give a shit about this cloud. He doesn't care about this man's feelings. I thought they knew each other because of how they were playing, but no. This K. Rule has never seen this man in his life. And quite frankly, he never wants to see him again. Up, oh, the Omni Splash. That'll be enough to take him down at least. Haru's here though, yeah, I like Haru. I like Yusuke too, I just prefer Makoto. That's, that's all, that's all I'm saying. But K. Rule with the final smash, will he destroy? No, no! Cloud, Cloud's making a comeback. We gotta give this boy respect, he's making a comeback! Cloud's just standing in front of him, charging his limit. Interesting choice, but not unlike any Clouds I have seen. K. Rule now has his final smash, and he- Ooh, he gets it! Just barely, by the tip of his feet. Very close to the blast zone, but I don't think it's enough to kill. And- Oh, whoa! Yo! K. Rule continues on, and now we got Funny Plant Part 2. Versus who I believe is also one of the best girls. So we do have to remember that da Daisy does have one of the strongest final smashes. Um, I would like to say that uh, stalling for final smash is illegal. Um, thankfully, I, I, have, I have told all the CPUs that, especially Daisy, I pulled her aside and told her, if you stall for your final smash, like if you just float on the other end of the, stre the screen where they can't hit you, I will ban you. And she said, yes, I understand. So she's going to go in. She's gonna camp a little bit, but she's not gonna she's not gonna stall. Different those are different things. Daisy Final Smash is a free stock almost always. Yes. But the CPUs are kinda dumb. So we'll see. We'll see how smart we'll see how smart uh this Daisy is. Alright. They're both pretty much in kill percent. Ooh, protect the stage. That's smart. Oh my god! Wait! That was such a that was such a smart move. Easy final smash. What is her punish? What is her game plan? CPUs are notorious for being bad at this. Full heal, sign special. Okay. Okay, absolutely not the worst way to punish. But Piranha Plant calls in dad, says, Dad, I'm being bullied. But Piranha, PD Piranha just can't do anything. Oh, this stage, this stage counterpicks Piranha Plant's final smash. Piranha Plant, big boy, not able to be killed by the up special, but the forward smash, absolutely able to kill. Daisy's final smash is just so strong. I think it's the only reason he's losing. Cause like if it weren't for that, Daisy might 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 be losing. I'm just I'm just saying. The tech from Daisy. Smart play. The up smash. Alright. Getting rid of Daisy's final smash. So Pete Piranha not Pete Piranha, sorry. Piranha Plant has a possibility of coming back. He needs to he needs to summon dad. And Daisy needs to stay on the top platform. There we go. Some free damage. You can hit you can hit her in the Okay. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. He's not dead yet. Daisy is almost at her final smash. Piranha Plant has everything working against him right now. The time, his damage, the final smash. Oh no, here it comes, here it is. No, that might be game. That might be the game for Piranha Plant. Daisy's final smash is just too strong. What is her punish? The side special again, but this time it is more than enough to kill. Now this is interesting. A Sonic versus Lucina. I know there are walk-offs on this stage. I thought that the CPUs would respect it, but they are not. <laughs> Sonic with the first kill, excellent. Nice little forward smash there. There we go. I think that was a forward aerial, but uh, the dash dance, dash dancing on Sonic. She's trying to disrespect him and Sonic's mad. He's trying to fucking throw it forwards and forward smashes. Trying to do anything, can't hit, can't connect. Oh, but he's got the final smash, both final smashes. So we all know that Sonic's final smash is really bad, but I don't know if CPUs are strong. Nope, they are, okay. Even though Sonic is doo-doo and I had, I had faith in Lucina, Sonic's looking pretty good right now. He's kind of gimping her a little bit, but like, he's just playing the stage, man. 
He didn't choose the stage. Stage is random. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic, Sonic heard you guys. Sonic heard that you didn't believe in him, so he had to. He had to try. He had to do something. Even in in fucking Mario's, uh, New Donk City world, listening about Mario, he has the advantage. Chat. That is how strong this man is, and we doubted him. Not that Lucina doesn't still have a chance, but usually when I say that, they die instantly, and that's kind of what I want. <laughs> I want the funny meme. Where Sonic just fucking destroys her. Is that it? Nope, nope, there's a platform down there that just barely saved her. Does the Sonic... No, it doesn't. I don't... There it is. There's the kill. With the Super Sonic style. With a two-stock lead. Sonic is the one who wins. He's filled with decades of rage and he took it out on poor Lucina. Alright, chat. So, I didn't tell any of you this. But on top of... Lorge, our Ridley Amiibo, who entered this tournament... His big brother, Golden Boy, also entered the tournament to get revenge for Lorge. So, we'll see how far he can make it in the tournament. And also, we have uh, Ice Climbers, because, uh, I don't know, why not? I don't have any- I don't have a story for them, they just showed up. But Golden Boy is, uh, definitely the better player. It just doesn't look like it right now. Oh no. He came here to defend his brother's honor, but he might just get destroyed by Ice Climbers. These completely new competitors who just showed up one day at 112%. Less than 30 seconds into the game. That's bad. Okay. <laughs> um. Nana just gibbed Popo herself. He's- they're just giving- they're just giving Golden Boy a chance. They heard- they heard about his brother and want to give him a chance. But they're still playing well. They have to focus. They're not done yet. They had a huge advantage, but- Oh my god, Nana's just completely leaving Popo to die! This Popo is insane, but Nana is just not working with them. There's not a whole lot they can do when they're missing half of their character. However, it looks like this might be- nope, not enough to kill. Not quite yet. But the icicle is. Alright, so Lorge is gonna- no, Lorge isn't gonna wake this out. He doesn't respect it. He says, fuck, give me the 6%. I'm ready to kill. I don't know if that up air- up special is the- is the- is the plan here, Ridley, but keep- keep- Keep believing in yourself, bud! For your brother, Lorge! Oh. So, Lorge, what did you think about that fight? My brother fucking sucks. Yeah, he, say, he looks like it. He looks like he's pretty fucking terrible. So, good news, chat. They're both assholes, and they're both out of the tournament, so... First things first, we have... The Bowser, the big bad boy, and the Jigglypuff who killed a level 1 amiibo. So, let's see how this goes. BM him. Bowser at 82% already. Kind of incredible that little Jigglypuff can do that, but we gotta remember, one decent Final Smash is more than enough to kill a Jigglypuff. So she's gotta be very careful. Oh, n <clears throat> Bowser, that was the perfect chance to punish Jigglypuff going for the rest, but just wasn't enough to get it. So we should expect more rest from this Jigglypuff. Jesus Christ! Jigglypuff, oh, saved by the, oh, Jigglypuff knows this stage. That's, you, that is training. That is years of practice on this stage. This isn't some unknown stage to Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff knew that Bowser can't do anything here. And I thought they were even, even, but no. Jigglypuff is ahead of stock. Bowser inting up here. He doesn't want to use his final smash because he's at such a deficit, but he has no other choice. And will he hit? He doesn't even hit. This Jigglypuff is going to take it all home. And Bowser inted again. Okay, that was, uh... Alright, uh, so, easily the worst, the worst match of the, of the tournament, right? But now, we have the funny bear versus the funny RPG character. Banjo-Kazooie versus Hero, let's go. To Saffron City, interesting ch- the fucking- Just the raw forward smash. Hell yeah, Banjo. They're both feeling each other out right now. They're both relatively new, so they haven't played each other. Banjo's just kind of taking L's, and Hero's just wasting his MP. He didn't use it a lot last time, but now he's using it too much, I think. I don't know, I don't know why he's doing this. Hero's very greedy. Oh, back throw. Does- Oh, he went for the funny aerial chat! He's definitely gonna make it back from this, but he, he definitely went for the disrespect, and I respect it. I respect the hell out of that. I feel like both of them are BMing and nothing happens. Well, don't worry, there's only a 10 minute limit. Ooh, that was almost a good read. Ooh, again, very- Ooh, the down spike! Who's, and now he's just, now he's just showing off. He's saying, look what I got. 
Look what I got, bud. This might kill, actually. Holy shit! Hose mad! Hose mad! I thought I thought this banjo was going all the way, but this hero. This hero knows what he's doing. Should be able to get it easily. Yep, that's an easy kill. But still, with a two-stock deficit, they just they're just they have they have a lot of ground to make up for when being tossed around like a ragdoll like that. Imagine coming to Smash Bros. and then being beaten by a little anime boy. Imagine, chat. Imagine that happening. Oh, he's got his final smash, though. That could easily end the game. We saw how quickly he was able to end it last time. La the last stock. Oh, and it kills. Banjo-Kazooie held to the blast zone and said, yeah. Got, got funny meme meme character meme characters. Donkey Kong versus Piranha Plant. Oh, that should not have killed. Piranha Plant held towards the blast zone. Jesus. All right, Piranha Plant with the final smash. Think if it captures him, it will be enough to kill a Donkey Kong. Just aggroing out of his ass. Could not refuse. Could not refuse a fight. Donkey Kong got the Uda Uda Uda. Hasn't used it yet. Still, he, him and his cousin don't want to use it. They're waiting for the, the right opponent, the special opponent who deserves the Uda Uda. Is Piranha Plant that opponent? It's just hard to tell. And we won't know until he uses it. No, still does not want to use the final smashes. He's, he's playing by old school rules, rules chat. This man's a melee guy, kind of guy. He doesn't play with items, doesn't play with final smashes. But will that bite him in the butt? Donkey Kong with the smart plays, just trying to get the big boy moves to attack. But Piranha Plant not letting him have the time of day. There it is, the up smash. All right, only a little bit of a deficit for Donkey Kong. I don't know if this is anything that he wants to be doing right now. I don't know if this is anything he wants to be fighting. Ooh, he's got the Aura Aura. 151 Piranha Plant has 0%. This is not looking good. Donkey Kong, you gotta order, order, order. Give it to him. There it is. He finally used it. He knew he had to. Does it kill at 68%? A desperation final smash, but one that worked in his favor. So let's see. Poggy Kong versus Monado Boy. Let's go. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, that... That hurt to watch the spe the aerial jump read special. Oh, Donkey Kong is not letting him get any. Oh my God, Donkey Kong! This man is just—he's just a boy. Donkey Kong, you mad lad! Shulk, you do not want to be off the stage. That is where—that is where you lose. Remember, Donkey Kong has two stonks on you. He has no no Shulk. Died at four percent. After the first, after the first two absolutely embarrassing, uh, first two stocks. He just, he just like, fuck it, I'm out, see ya, that's, that's game. Ponky Kong's cousin, Donkey Kong, is seeing Ponky Kong, he's like, oh fuck, he's in the mood. Oh, oh, oh no. But now we got Alba- Banjo, Banjo has fallen, but Banjo's albino cousin, albino Banjo, has seen this and wants revenge on whoever knocked Banjo out. He's gonna win this tournament for his cousin. Yo, she's tired of being a ride. He's trying to free Kazooie. <laughs> this is Kazooie. You don't need to be a sidekick. I got my own game series. I'm gonna get you yours. Chat, would you play a game just, just called Kazooie? Where you just play as Kazooie? It'd be like Ratchet and Clank's Clanks. It's just, just Kazooie. <laughs> Something could have happened there and there. Banjo's used th uh, two, three of his side specials. Ooh, but the forward smash isn't enough to take it so close. And yet, so far, he's got the grenade. Nothing. Oh, the personal grenade to Yoshi's back air. Not really ideal for Banjo, but he manages to come out on top. And he's dash dancing. He wants to impress his cousin. He says, look at me, bro. Watch me do this. Oh, I don't know what's going on over there. We need something, something to happen. Uh-oh. Is that death? No, not yet. Yoshi's... Never mind. There it is. That combo is sick. Fuck. All right. Yoshi's got his final smash. He's just... Dealing some damage, trying to get some way to get an easy kill. There it is, the read! The read at the side of the screen, that's not looking good for Banjo. That's might that's death, holy shit! Banjo also has his final smash now. Might be able to kill 65%? I think it's possible if he can hit, especially that close to the blast zone. There it is, that's that's death. There's no way, there's no way Yoshi survives this. Oh, Yoshi's got oh Yoshi's got the special, he just needs another read, another good read, and that's an instant win. Oh, but the fucking grenade! What the hell? Oh my god, Banjo! Banjo has a 
Banjo has a chance. All of those grenades just saved him. He says, this is working, more grenades. This is what we need, more bombs. And the snake style up tilt takes it. Banjo Kazooie. Albino Banjo Kazooie is in it to win it. Let's get it out of the way. The Pokemon trainer is trying to catch Lucario. Ha <laughs> ha, funny meme. Taxes. <laughs> Pokemon trainer versus Lucario to see who will be fighting Albino Banjo. Doesn't matter. They're still going for the fight. Chat, thank you for laughing at my very funny joke. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment on the video and uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, SoundCloud. I don't have a SoundCloud. Everywhere else though, absolutely do that. <laughs> if you got this far in the video, you don't have to leave a like, but at least sub and maybe leave a comment saying that you liked it. And if you're here just watching the stream live right now, just follow the stream. You don't have to sub. I'd appreciate it though. Lucario fucking using his, uh, the walk-offs to his advantage. He's doing good. He's doing very well. Commentator's curse. Here, here it comes. Oh no, he's got his ultimate. That might, that might kill. That kills this early, doesn't it? Holy shit. He says, watch this video game, but uh, Charizard says, fuck you. <laughs> the triple finish walk off. Ooh, that's BM. And just like that, the game is tied. Holy shit, that was such a smart play from Pokemon Trainer. Ooh, that would have been good for Fair Puts. Ooh, the down, down air, not enough. And Lucario gets the final smash. And that will be the end of Pokemon Trainer. All right, now it's time for Funny Big Man and uh, the girl slotted to win the tournament because of her uh, final smash. So let's see how it goes. That might be bad. Skyloft is a little funky, but it's fun. So I put it on the uh, rotation. <laughs> Everything, everywhere's a little too tight for King K. Rule to easily move around. So he might be at the disadvantage here, but he can also just bounce shit around like a crazy person. Holy shit, the text from Daisy. Yeah, get ready for a lot of text here. Oh my god. Untechable. She's gotten to untechable territory. Gimp this, so this, Gimp this boy. Ooh, or alternatively, just use your final smash. Just use your final smash forehead. Here's the fucking jet, yeah, the side special. Not the smartest, not the smartest, smartest play. In fact, I would say that that was a waste of a final smash. What is Kirill doing? Anything could kill her right now. There, no. Almost anything could kill them right now, but he's just toying with her. There we go. The pummel? The pummel kills? Interesting choice. And now it's time for K. Rule's uh, final smash. I think he's only hit one this tournament out of like three, two or three. So we'll see if he hits this one. Oh, here it is. Ooh! By the tiptoe and she is by the edge. This could, this could be death. Easily. Wow. K. Rule. Is he about to three stock? This boy. This boy's been training for this moment. He's king of who knows what. So he wants to be king of the copycat CPU tournament. Ooh, but the uh, the back air is enough to take him out. But Daisy still has two stocks he needs, she needs to take him out of. She has her final smash, but like, yeah, unless she uses it smartly. No, he rolled, okay. That wasn't, that wasn't a good final smash. Oh, but the final smash is on King K. Rule now. That might be it. No, that's not it. That's not it. Daisy can text it. Can text this. I believe in Daisy. I believe Daisy can text this easily. Yes, she's good. Okay, she didn't tech it, but she lived, and that's what matters. That no, not dead. Not dead yet. Don't Daisy, you dumb bitch. Daisy, you dumb bitch. Don't do it. Get at least one more stock. At least get one more stock. Don't embarrass yourself. You were slotted to win the tournament, and you got two stocked by the funny big man. Ah. Uh. Commentators can't insult the, in the contestants. Yes, I can. It's my tournament. I organized it. I follow my own rules. Fool. We have the two unlikely contestants. I didn't expect either of these guys to make it to the second round. Sonic and Ice Climbers. So, hey, if they win the tournament, that's way more power to them. It's a good thing he doesn't drown immediately or this would be completely different. He's got fucking Final Smash. Here he goes. One, two, three. Wait. Wait, Sonic got a kill with his Final Smash? Sonic's doing pretty fucking good, actually. He's definitely he's definitely been impressing me. I, th I think I've been sleeping on Sonic. That's Sonic's second kill with Final Smash. Yeah, I've been sleeping on him, man. He's doing pretty good. This is dead, though. <laughs> like, like, there's nothing you could have done there. Ice Climbers just have nothing to kill him with. 
If he just stalls out for his final... Oh my god, the forward smash. He just walked up and forward smashed them. Sonic walked up. Not Ron. Sonic walked up. And forward smashed them. The Ice Climbers need to do something different. Alright, there's the kill. Very weak kill. But a kill is a kill is a kill. Sonic, don't die, please. Thank you. Actually, the Ice Climbers might be just waiting out until they get their ultimate. No! They didn't have time! The... Down Smash? What? So here we are, chat. Round 3. Here we are with Mira's competitors. Mira herself and Hose Mad. Sonic channeling the power of all of his bad games. No, he's channeling all his good games. You know, Sonic Adventure to Battle. Eat shit. Hero with his randomness? Or Jigglypuff with her insane resting? Honestly, it could go either way. My damn- my vote's on the cute one. I'm gonna have to be real. Yeah, you- you have to- you have to specify, because that could go for either of them. <laughs> Ooh. Jigglypuff not- Oh! Hero dash dancing! Here comes the expand Jigglypuff. Oh, that's enough to kill! Excellent! I still have no idea how that ult actually works. Oh! The final smash from Hero. This might kill. On a Jigglypuff at 56, this might kill. A very good chance, yes. Hero is just wiping the floor. Come on, Jigglypuff. Just get one rest. One rest. That's what we want. Give the people what they want. All right. Does she use it su successfully? N yes. <laughs> She's fucking dancing too. Bang. Honestly, I thought that thwack was death, but that thwack. That smack. The Donkey Kongs. Donkey Kong and Ponky Kong. They are cousins. They're super disrespectful to everyone, so I'm including each other. Donkey Kong, however, used his final smash. Ponky Kong has not. So we'll see if they keep the rule of no final smash. So they're just bonking each other back and forth. Ooh, but Ponky Kong with the clap. Slap, slap, slap. Clap, clap, clap. We have to remember that Ponky Kong was the one who did not use his final smash. So it is possible that he is the superior player. Despite the fact that he was named second. Oop, the Oota Oota misses! And he gets slapped and clapped. Ponky Kong does not respect the uses of final smashes. So now he's just willing to take him out. Woo! That's spicy! Oh, but they're playing at the edge? That's, ooh, scary. Alright, and just like that, they're even. Just like, they, wa they wanted the fair one-on-one -on -one fight. If Ponky Kong gets the fucking... Actually, if they keep playing close to that ledge, either of them could just gimp each other. Ooh! He says, how's this for a final smash, you fucking coward? You fucking casual. Next, we have our good boy, Albino Banjo, trying to win the game for his fallen cousin, regular Banjo. <laughs> and just like that, they're at almost even percentages. They're just trading blows, trying to figure each other out. The funny forward air. Uh oh, don't don't die. That is a very low gap. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Okay, yeah, that works. Sure. This banjo is moving. He's trying to run circles around this boy, but Lucario's keeping up. Ooh, the back throw that doesn't kill on this stage, really? I am surprised. Ooh, Lucario using his grenades against him. The explosive up smash. Good play from Lucario. Very patient player. Very smart, and then he goes up to the top of the screen at 151, so not genius, just mostly smart. Oh, and now he's got his fucking final smash. That's not good. No, Banjo had to jump over that. Does he die from- Yes! Insane. And he needs two more stocks to take him out. We all make us stupid sometimes. I can't really make fun of him because he's still winning. <laughs> you can't lose just yet, but you can't. You gotta do something, Banjo. Break his shield or something. Side special. Something. Anything. Yeah, just, just, yeah, just Kazooie. Just Kazooie bomb him. That's fine. Almost. Oh, yep, yeah, that's, that's game. <laughs> that's it. Goodbye. He had a really good game. He had a really good run. I have to say, I am a little upset that neither Banjo won because of that first play from the first Banjo. But next, we got another unexpected contestant, Sonic versus the big funny pink man. So, I skipped it. I skipped it by accident. Pretend it was really sick. Check. Can I get Beard B. Chunkers? So next up, we have Hero. Mr. Hose Man himself versus Ponky Kong. Ponky Kong, remember, just murdered his cousin. Just completely shat all over him. The raw. The raw fucking neutral special. Holy shit. But he's got to remember that Hero uses his final smash and Hero doesn't miss his final smash. 
Hero has been very good with it. Can Hero make it back? Actually, no! Hero's not out of it yet, though. An easy kill for him. Now both completely even, 0-0. Zero, zero. But he's got to watch out. Like I said, Hero is very good with his ultimate. He does not waste that thing. I don't think I've seen him miss a single one. Ooh, a smart cr crackle as well. Or whatever that move is called. Crackles is ice move. Never mind. I don't know what it is. Never mind. Forget about it. <laughs> it was a smart move, all right? I'm giving him a compliment. Let me let me give him a co Donkey Kong! If that was a spike, holy shit. But the zoomy gets him back. Ooh, the reed! The reed from the Donkey Kong. Oda, 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 oda. And he's dead. Just like that. Yeah, sorry. He's Ponky Kong, but... He, he likes to be called Donkey Kong. He doesn't like to be compared to his, his cousin Donkey Kong. So when Donkey Kong isn't around, he's Donkey Kong. He took the title when he destroyed, when he destroyed now Bronky Kong, you know, brown Donkey Kong. He's at the advantage now. Actually, I didn't notice that Donkey Kong died again. I'm going to be honest. I thought, I thought he had the huge advantage, but no, he does not. He's, uh, he's now losing. Oh, the snooze. Oh, he's just tossing him out there. And the thwack takes it. Wow. That hurts a man. And I won't even call it bullshit, because he could have pulled anything. He could have top decked anything and won. So, like, the thwack was just the extra little pff, disrespect. It is the cute furry blue things. Lucario versus Sonic. Again, both of these two, not who I expected to play. And whoever wins has to face Mr. Hose Matt himself. And that is just a terrifying concept, if you ask me. If I had to, if I found out I had to fight Hose Mad, I don't know how I'd feel. Sonic versus knockoff Sonic. Sonic versus DeviantArt Sonic. Sonic's moving, man. Sonic got the moves. He knows what he's doing. Has he been studying Dreamland? Out of all the things to study, this is the one that Sonic's been studying. I'm impressed. <laughs> all right, all right, chat. We get it. Lucario is a funny-looking Sonic. Leave him alone. He's trying his best. Oh, Lucario's dead. Lucario killed himself. Never mind. Never mind. All right, so Lucario's not looking good for this fight. He still has a chance, but he needs to kill Sonic now and not take any more damage. But here, it's so hard to kill Sonic from center stage. And he can't really kill him from the bottom without a spike either. Sonic just seems to have the advantage here. Alright, that might... Hmm, I don't think that's another kill. But it's close. Lucario is just doing horribly. Oh, here comes the free kill. <laughs> Alright, Sonic. Full advantage now. Two stocks. 25% to zero. Lucario, you think Lucario is going to come online? You still think there's a chance? I hope so. I hope so. I would like to see Lucario's last ditch effort. He's been doing so well in this tournament so far. Lucario, everyone's cheering for you. Use your Goku powers. And of course, Lucario self-destructed earlier. Oh, hang on. That's a kill move. I forgot about that. My bad. So it's now one to one, but Sonic has the advantage. Lucario just has to find some way to either cheese Sonic out or perhaps maybe stop. Nope, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> and now... The moment everyone has been waiting for is time for Hose Mad versus Sonic. So if you've been here for this long, if you've been watching this video, if you've been watching the stream, whichever, uh, follow the YouTube, follow the, the Twitch, follow the, uh, the, I don't know, I got a Twitter if you want to hang out there. Get in the Discord to get ready for more of this stuff. Uh, and yeah, if you have money, sub to me. Don't skip. I won't skip. I'm not going to skip the final battle. Don't worry. Let's go, team. Give me all your money. I'm not skipping a chat, it's fine. I got it. I skipped one, okay? I skipped one game. And immediately, Sonic starts with the 6%. Easy peasy. Alright. Sonic really has to use his speed here, because... Hero has everything else. He's got the power, he's got the range. Sonic literally just has speed and combos, but I don't know if that'll be enough. But Sonic has made it this far. Even if he loses, that's a pretty fucking big deal. Deal Getting up against someone like... Like Hero, who I don't think is top tier, but he's still pretty goddamn good. And the snooze, but Sonic... Sonic saw him hovering the snooze and went for the ledge. That is smart, and the spike hurts. Hero is at 120%, Sonic at 76 on his second stock. It's not looking good for him, but it's not impossible. 0% now. Still a huge deficit. Sonic, you have to edgeguard. You have to do something, man. Ooh, like that. Oh, that was so smart, but of course Hero would tech it. Hero no longer has his final smash, which is good for Sonic. But he still has a million other ways he can kill him. Come on, Sonic. I believe in you. I don't want Hero to win. I do, I do want Hero to lose. But it's just not looking like it. I have to vote for the underdog. Come on, man. You can do it. 
Oh, that's death. He he held. He held towards the, the blast zone. <laughs> All right, he's got the accelerate now too. So he's just as fast as Sonic. Ooh, but he also dies just as fast as Sonic. Sonic has evened it up completely. So now it could be anyone's game. Sonic, man, I'm rooting for you. I got the commentator's blessing on you. But maybe Hero will win. Commentator's curse. Commentator's curse. Commentator's curse. Is everyone is everyone voting for Hero? Then yeah, I'm voting for Sonic. Come on, Sonic. You won't kill him with this. Wait! He did! Sonic did it! <laughs> Sonic wins the first copycat CPU level 9 tournament! Sonic! My boy! Takes down the evil anime and reigns supreme as the surprise winner of the first Beard Box level 9 tournament. That is incredible. That is so, so awesome to see. <laughs> I had my memes ready and everything. Yeah, you put your hose mad, you put your hose mad away. Sonic, Sonic is the winner. We must respect him. Sonic is amazing, apparently. Sonic didn't throw the match like, he, like I paid him to. So he gets double the money. He gets the money you gave him, the money I gave him for winning the tournament. And he runs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. That was it. That was it for the first tournament. I hope you all I hope you all enjoyed it. I had a blast. I had a really fun time doing this.